Today we are replacing the brake rotors, the rear brake rotors and brake pads for this Audi Q5 2010. Um, before we work on the back brake, we have to retract the electric park brake first and we're using this Carista ODB2 scanner tool. You need an app on your phone. So it's just scanning at the moment. Okay, we're going to use the electronic park brake. Yep. Agree to whatever condition it is, we don't have a choice. And we just choose open. Okay, we will continue. So after it's retracted the park brake, the light on the park brake button is flashing. So that's how we know it's done. As well on the console, it's also flashing. We're replacing the back brakes of this Q5, so 2010. We've already retracted the park brake, so the piston can be pushed back. The first thing we'll have to do is remove the glider pin uh, bolt, which is one here and one down here. So we'll need a 15 mil for here and 13 mil for here. Okay, so we're going to loosen the um, glider pin. That one's loosened, and then we'll do the bottom one. It's there. Okay, so that's loosened. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze the caliper so that it's a little bit loose to pull it out. Okay, I've got that out. I'll just rest this here. It's pretty safe. Okay, we just a little screwdriver to just remove the pad. So these brakes actually had no wear sensors on on any on the left or the right side which is interesting so the next part we have to do is remove the caliper um, bracket so it's an 18 mil one here and one here so the both are actually different lengths the one at the top is a longer length and the one at the bottom is a little bit shorter so with the 18 mil, we're going to remove the um, bolt. Oh, it's not. Doesn't look that strong, that tight on, but it's interesting. Okay, so we're going to use the electric ratchet uh, just to get it out quicker. I'm just going to remove these um, rotor holder um, screw. This is a T30. And wow, oh, that's lucky that came out really easily. Okay, I've got the anti-seize 
around here so that the next time we replace these rotors it'll come out easily here's the new rotor this is a Bosch we've got a pretty good price from it from Repco and the Bendix um, pad actually came with a new screw a retainer screw so we'll use that they were just replacing the caliper bracket so the longer screw goes on the top the tricky bit with this is trying to feel and get a direct bite Okay, so we're using this tool to uh, just compress the piston back. Now we've already retracted the park brake. This is the only reason why we can do this. This car has electric park brake, so it must be disengaged um, through a ODB2 scanner so that it's fully retracted. Okay, that's all the way back now, so we should be right to put it back. Okay, so we've got the pad in place now. Um, next, we are going to put some brake lube on the caliper wherever it's going to make contact with the pad. And some on the piston as well. Okay, so we've got the caliper back in place. Now we just have to put in the caliper glider pin bolt so the, the brake pad set came with new bolts so we're using that the glider pin was still pretty well greased so we didn't have to top up any new grease so of course we're tightening by hand first using the 15 and 13 mil to tighten it Okay, everything is back in place now. Um, the back brake of this Q5 actually had no sensors. Okay, now that the back brakes are back in place, we are going to now use this um, tool to re-engage the park brake. So that's the park brake re-engaging itself. <laughs> 